Today we're going to talk about removing a pump, whatever the cause, broken pump, uh, damage, damage split rings, anything, or to change something farther down the transmission. But firstly, you do what Frank's doing right now, remove the pan. And this is a common common issue. Pump problems always happen with the 4L60E usually. We're just doing this video for a little demonstration. I'm just doing it by Alright. It should be right on my right on my desk. But this is a good video because we talk people through this often and, and it gets it gets talked about a lot. It's one of the most basic things. Our sockets are old and stretched, so they fly. Okay. Once you've got the pan off and the gasket, we're going to move on to taking off the filter. And then the next step, two very important things. You'll need a small screwdriver, flathead preferably, and you'll remove move that first. the plug and then this clip right here for the PWM and it'll just come out like so and the reason we're doing all this is because this TCC has to come out of the pump if you just yank the pump it'll snap in half and that's a whole nother video of changing the wiring harness the thing people most forget is the lockup o-ring. You will never get the pump off if you do not take this off. You pro you might be able to, but it's it's gonna be hard. Next thing, you'll take out the 13 millimeter pump bolt. Be careful not to lose any o-rings underneath or washers, depending on what you have. That is the o-ring that you are not supposed to lose. Your transmission will probably leak. And once you've removed the pump bolts that are again 13 millimeter, you'll take a pry bar, let me get around here where Frank is, and pry up on the pump. Frank needs a different pry bar, but be careful not to rip your gasket. You usually should have another one though if you're doing this. Your pump should pop up fairly easily after a few tries. All right. Now, and that is how you remove your pump. Now, what I need what you should know is there's three different kinds of input shaft pump combos all because of one year so you need to make sure this machining spot where your teflon rings go match the inside of your stator that gm used for whatever transmission you have in the 4l60e and there are obvious differences just keep them together 